Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be showing you how to make a really easy crocheted shrug. So what you're going to need to make this shrug is you're going to need some worsted weight yarn. I'm using loops and threads creamy cotton yarn. You're also going to need a tape measure, a 5.0 millimeter crochet hook, a darning needle, two stitch markers, and a pair of scissors. Let's get started. So I quickly wanted to go over the construction of our crocheted shrug. We are simply going to be crocheting one big rectangle using one stitch and the stitch that we will be using is called the reverse blanket stitch. Once we've created our one big rectangle, we are simply going to fold in our sides and seam it. That's it. It's super easy. So to keep this tutorial nice and short, I am just going to show you a swatch of the stitch that you'll be using. Okay, but you can find the full directions, uh, the free pattern, at the link down below. Alright, so let's go ahead and get started. You are going to create a slip knot and chain 16. Once you have done that, you are going to double crochet in the third chain from the hook. So one, two, three. Okay, so go ahead and create a double crochet in the third chain from the hook. Then you want to chain two and make a single crochet in the following chain. Okay, so you're going to create a single crochet right here. Then we are going to skip two chains. So one, two, and create another double crochet in the third chain from the hook. Okay, and then create another double crochet in the third chain from the hook. So you're going to have two total. Then you want to go ahead and chain two and single crochet in the following chain. Okay, so you should have something that looks like this. Okay, now we want to skip two chains, so one, two, and we are going to create two double crochets in the following chain. Okay, so skip two chains. And then a third one, we are going to create a double crochet. And one more double crochet. All right, so now we're going to chain two. And we're going to single crochet in that next chain. Okay. Now we are going to skip two chains again, one, two, and create two double crochets in the following chain. So as you can probably tell, you can see a pattern starting to form. Okay. All right, so it should look like this. Okay, you want to chain two and create a single crochet in that last chain. Okay, so that completes row one of our swatch. Okay, so it should look like this. All right, so let's go ahead and do row two. So you want to chain two, one, two, flip your work. So now we're working on the back side. And you want to skip this first stitch right here. And we are going to be working two double crochets, two chains, and single crochet in this chain space. Okay, so skip this first stitch and let's go ahead and create all those stitches in this one space. So yarn over hook and create a double crochet. Create another double crochet. Chain two. Okay, and then single crochet. Okay, so you should have something that looks like this. It's going to have a very defined wave. Okay. Next up, you're going to skip three stitches. So one, two, three. And you're going to create two double crochets, two chains, and one single crochet in that chain space again. Okay, so go ahead and make your two double crochets. chain two, and single crochet. 
Okay. So now we're going to be doing the exact same thing that we just did over here. Okay, so we are going to skip three stitches. One, two, three. And sometimes I find that they're kind of hard to see, but as long as you see your chain space, you're in the right spot. Okay, so find your chain space and go ahead and make two double crochets. Okay, so two double crochets, chain two, and single crochet. All right, okay, so your swatch should look something like this. Okay, so now we're, here we go again. We're going to skip our three stitches, one, two, three, find our chain space, which is right here, and go ahead and make your two double crochets, two chains, and single crochet, all in that chain space. Okay, and that completes row two. Okay, so the pattern actually gets very easy after this because all you have to do is repeat row two for the whole entire rectangle. All right, so let's go ahead and do row three together. Let's chain two, flip our work. So now we're working on the front side, which should look like this. You should see a whole bunch of waves starting to form. Okay, we're gonna skip our first stitch and work two double crochets, two chains and single crochet in that chain space. And you wanna continue to do this till the end of the row. Okay, so I just finished that. Okay, skip our three stitches, one, two, three, work two double crochets, two chains, and single crochet in a chain space. Okay, skip our three stitches, one, two, three, find our chain space, two double crochets, chain two, and single crochet. All right, I'm on my last little wave here. One, two, three. Okay, skip our first three stitches, find our chain space, and work two double crochets, two chains, and single crochet. Okay, so your swatch should look something like this now. Okay. So like I said before, you're, con you're going to continue row two 82 more times, okay? So you should have 82 rows of the reverse blanket stitch. Once you have done that, then you've crocheted one big rectangle, of course, and then it's time to seam. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that, and then we'll get to our seaming part. Okay, so I just finished crocheting my rectangle in the reverse blanket stitch. So now it's time to fold into sides and seam. So let's go ahead and get started with that. You wanna grab the right edge corner on the bottom and go ahead and bring it to the middle. Okay, you wanna do the same to the top. And you wanna make sure that it's even. So if it takes a little while to adjust, that's totally fine. Okay, just make sure it's even. Okay, so mine looks like this. Okay, so it should look something like this now. Then you want to grab your tape measure and you want to measure out five inches starting from here because this is our armhole, okay, where our arm will fit through. So five inches, grab your stitch marker and go ahead and mark it. Okay, now you can put two stitch markers or you can just use the one and put it from the bottom into the top piece. Okay. So it should look something like this. Then you wanna grab a piece of yarn and you wanna cut it because now we're gonna be seaming it. Okay, and how I, I like to measure it out is I just go one, two. So I have plenty to work with. Grab your darning needle, insert your yarn through. Okay, and let's go ahead and start from the bottom. And we're just gonna be whip stitching it together 
So insert your darning needle into the bottom of the rectangle to the top. Okay, so it's going through both pieces. And I'm going to leave about this much yarn on the bottom. Okay, and then work it through the top. Okay, and then back to the there you go, and go in from the bottom again to the top. Okay, and it'll slowly start to close. All right, and continue to do this till the end of the row, and I will meet you at the end. Okay, so I just finished whip stitching my two sides together, so you should have something that looks like this. Okay, so go ahead and you can remove your stitch marker and all that's left to do is to, is to just tie a knot on both sides and work on your end. And now you have your first arm piece, okay, where your arm will fit through. Now you want to do the exact same to the opposite side. So go ahead and do that and I'll meet you back here. Okay, so I just finished seaming my other side and now you have a crochet shrug. Okay, and so... All that's left to do is just flip it inside out so you hide your seams and then you can always add a cute border if you want to as well. Okay, it already has a natural wavy border, but you can make a single crochet border that would look really cute. Okay, I really hope you enjoyed this tutorial and don't forget to subscribe.